Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the 1994 season here in the inaugural Brickyard 400. This is the first ever race that NASCAR will run at the legendary Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It is a beautiful late July, early August day I believe. And I cannot wait to get this race going around this 2.5 mile racetrack. Before we can get this race started, though, we got to go through your starting lineup. So, coming into the race today on the pole is Davey Allison. Davey Allison is on the is on the pole today, the points leader, with second place. Um, whoops, that's wrong. Why Terry Labonte is, is in second place, who won last week's race. He's third in points. Dale Earnhardt starts third today. Ken Schrader fourth place. Now, the top four are four of the top five in points coming into this race today. Good start for Lake Speed today, along with Bobby Hamilton. Good good place for them to start. Morgan Shepard and Jeff Davis. Jeff Davis making a one-off attempt, a one-off a start for this team. And I believe Jeff Davis, I don't remember correctly, but he, I don't know if he, um, if he made this race in real life or if he didn't. I know he attempted it. Obviously he attempted it. But I don't know if he actually made it in real life. 78 cars actually attempted this race back in 1994. So that's, that's, I think it took two days to qualify. So Bill, anyway, Bill Elliott, Rusty Wallace, Ricky Rudd, Rick Mast, Michael Waltrip, Rick Wilson, Sterling Marlin, Tabo Nine, The M's, Mark Martin and Ted Musgrave in a row together. Derek Cope, Jeffrey Bodine. Kyle Petty, Steve Grissom, Dale Jarrett, Jeremy Mayfield, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Spencer, Daryl Waltrip, Ernie Irvin, Helch Strickland, Randy LaJoy, Harry Gant, Del McCowart, Joe Nemechek, Dave Marcus, Kenny Wallace, John Andretti, Mike Wallace, Jimmy Hensley, Dick Trickle, Loy Allen Jr., Wally Dahlenbach Jr., and Brad Teague round out your field today here in at one of the greatest racetracks in the world. For over 75 years, this track has been home to IndyCar's largest race, open wheels, biggest race. And today, the stock cars will finally stake their turf here at this legendary 2.5 mile racetrack. A.V. Allison, the inaugural pole winner. Dale Earnhardt, all, all the anticipation up to this week. He's wanted to lead the first lap. What will he do to try and lead the first lap ever run here? He, and even more important than what leading the first lap is to win the race. Let's see if he can do it today. He's going to he's gonna have to fight with Davey Allison, Terry Labonte, and Ken Schrader for this win. Here we go, off a of turn four for the final time to take the green flag and the inaugural Brickyard 400, the pace car down the pit lane. And we are going, getting ready to go green flag. Here we go, the green's out. Davey Allison leads him down in his fourth Thunderbird. Across the yard of bricks. And down to turn number one. Davey's gonna clear him. And there he goes, he's got, he's cleared Terry Labonte. Now Dale Earnhardt, look at Dale Earnhardt. He's side by side for second place now. Terry Labonte's gonna get shuffled out from that outside pole position. Goes from third all the way to fourth, and here comes Morgan Shepard. Second place in points, Morgan Shepard trying to get under Terry Labonte. Terry trying to hold him off, but doesn't look like he can do it. So here comes Morgan to the inside of him. Look, it looked like for a second there, Dale Earnhardt was going to try and get that position on Davey, but he couldn't do it, and Terry is now actually going to clear Morgan off of turn three down to turn number four. Who will lead the first lap in Brickyard 400 history? It's looking like it's going to be Davey Allison. He's going to hold steady off a of turn four, and he will lead lap number one here at, in Speedway, Indiana. Coming through turn one again, Davey Allison holding pretty, again, holding steady. I've said it three times, I think, now. Yeah, got some orange juice. If you're wondering why I pause every once in a while. It's in the morning still. Davey coming down the back stretch now. This is an extremely long back stretch as everyone's lined up single foul. Now look at Terry Labonte whip it out on his teammate there. 
and he's gonna throw it in there on him trying to get that third place position and look at this the top five right now are the top five in points I just realized Davey Allison the points leader Morgan Shepard's in fifth he's second in points Terry Labonte's third and he's third in points Ken Schroeder's fifth in points and he's fourth that's Dale Earnhardt's you know here we go battle for the lead Side by side, down on the turn number one. Who is going to get it through this corner? Door handle, door handle, and it looks like it's going to be Dale Earnhardt. Remember, he wanted to lead this race the first lap. He didn't get to do that, but he's going to try and lead the rest of them. So he comes through turn two now. And look at Terry Labonte with a run. He's already back up to second place. Down the back stretch we go. And Davey looks like he will lose that second place position to Terry Labonte. Now looks like... Ken Schrader's going to try and get him for third place. Davey Allison's going to go from first place a lap ago to maybe going to fifth. I think Morgan Shepard just hit the wall. I'm not 100% sure on that. It looked like he did. And now there's a side-by-side -side for third place. Here we go for the lead, side-by-side. -side. Dale Earnhardt leads, but here comes Terry Labonte trying to get to the quarter panel of Dale Earnhardt as we thunder down in the turn number one again. And Terry Labonte is going to try and take the lead. He will just do it. Just about do it. And now down through turn two again. Whoa. Davey Allison and Dale Earnhardt side by side here. And now Dale Earnhardt's falling back. More Dale, Ken Schrader trying to get him for third place. Side by side for third. As Ken Schrader watches back in fifth. Are I saying Ken or more? I don't know what I'm even saying anymore. No one can seem to get side by side. None in the turn number three here. So we're already almost a quarter way through the inaugural Brickyard 400. Through turn four again. Here we go. Navy trying to get a big run on the five. He's going to pull out. Down in the turn one we go again. Side by side across the line. The yard of bricks just barely. And now as we go back down in the turn number one here. Side by side still. Davy trying to take the lead back that he lost. Can he do it? Side by side still now through turn two now. Davy will clear and Dale Earnhardt will follow him right through that hole he made. And now Ken Schrader, the teammate to Terry Labonte, is going to try and get under him as well. Down the long, long back stretch. One of the longest straightaways in all of motorsports. Davy trying to break the draft a little bit on Dale Earnhardt as they go back down in turn number three. Can Dale try and make a move on him here? Doesn't look like he can. Is now the top five single file out again. These five have separated themselves from the field. It's just, it's no coincidence that these are the top five in points and that they're the top five in this race. This race is bringing out the best in everyone today. Davey Allison, Dale Earnhardt, Ken Schrader, Terry Labonte, and Morgan Shepard are all going to fight it out today. Sports best right now. If we think about it here, I don't, when was the last time one of these drivers let me let me take a look here one watch the race I'm doing a stat oh, well rusty one whoops um three I don't remember all the winners give me a minute I'm almost done looking through all my notes four Oh God. Um, five. S these guys have won every race except six races this year. These top five and points have. That is impressive. Sorry for just being completely distracted for a lap. Um, now it looks like we only have a three car battle for the latest. Ken Schrader. Morgan Shepard have lost the touch a little bit. These guys have ran away from the field. My God, look at this. What happened here? 14th and 15th are separated by... Hold on. Four seconds? How did that happen? How is that even... How is that even possible? Then what happened? Then I think 24th and 25th are separated by... Five seconds. God, this is a strange race. Go through the field here. Look at this. Oh, my God. Look at this pack of drivers. As Davey still leads here about halfway through the race. Side by side. Man, 
right there. He just got to the inside of Earnhardt. Just got to the inside of him. And we'll try and complete that pass through turn number two. And it looks like he will. I'm pretty sure Dale Earnhardt will not appreciate that huge dive bomb in the turn number one there by Terry Labonte. He'll be expecting pit stops probably in the next two or three laps. See on the backstretch there, even though there's no grandstands on the backstretch, people lined up on that road watching against the fence there. Everyone wants to be at this race. The inaugural Burkhart 400. Through turn four again, we're coming to eight laps to go halfway through the race here. And Davey Allison still holding a pretty, pretty good lead over the rest of the pack at the moment. Even though he's lost it a couple times, he has still seemed like he has the strongest vehicle to try and win this inaugural Brick Car 400. Through turn one again. In the turn two. Ken, De oh not Ken, jeez. Terry Labonte. <laughs> he's coming off a of turn two. He's got a big run on him here. Can he do something with him? Let's see it. I think he's going to pull. Yep, there he goes, right there. And he's under him. Can he hold it into turn number three? Can he hold it under him? They go down the turn three. He's got the quarter panel there. He's going to run Davey Yaleson up into the second lane there. And even up into the third one. Look at the run Dale Earnhardt gets. Oh, I think Davey hit the wall. <laughs> it looked like he did. And coming through the corner here. Seven laps to go. Looks like Ken... Sh God, why do I keep calling Terry Labonte? Ken Schrader. Terry Labonte will take the lead. And now the top five are on top of one another. They were all separated by only four tenths that last time by. And now, look at Morgan Shepard, who's been the guy basically in the back here just clinging onto the draft. He's been, he's now working his way through the field here. And now Terry Labonte leads over Dale Earnhardt and Davey Allison. Down the back stretch we go. Six laps to go this time by. Six laps left. Here comes a dive bomb by Dale Earnhardt. He couldn't get it under him. And large arc by Terry Labonte helped him keep the lead as we come through turn four here. Oh, I think Terry Labonte will be pitting just by the by his speed here. And yes, he will be as they go basically three wide off of that corner. Davey and Dale almost door each other side by side down the front stretch here. And Davey Allison is trying to take the lead from Dale Earnhardt. Now as we go down the turn number one, still side by side. This is incredible racing here. These guys all want this Brickyard 400. Davey takes the lead now. He's got it back. Coming to five to go next time by. As Terry Labonte was the only one of the top five drivers that pitted. Maybe trying to get that undercut on the fresh tires. You never know. Down the three now. Morgan Shepard is up to second place. The top two in points. Our top two right now. Coming through the corner again. Here we go. I believe they will be pitting now. I can I can see it by their speed. Here we go. Down into down into the corner. Down into the bleh, down here we go. Oh! Morgan Shepard's blowing up! Morgan Shepard is on fire down the pit lane. Morgan Shepard has had his engine let go on the pit entrance. This is huge for points right now. This is huge for everything. To, Morgan Shepard was looking at a day where he could possibly either gain points on Davey or just hold steady. Now, by judging how much damage there is, as Davey comes off the pit lane first, we could see, um, we could see him lose multiple points possibly. We'll have to keep that. We'll have to keep tabs on that as we watch Davey come off the pit lane here. Dale Earnhardt coming as well. Look at the run Terry Labonte gets. He has a, he is hard charging right now. Terry Labonte trying to chase down Davey Allison here. This is it. Coming to four laps to go. This time by less than five, less than ten miles around this racetrack to determine the inaugural Brickyard 400 winner. Davey Allison thundering down the back stretch in the turn number three. He's trying to run away from him, trying to win it for Ford. And Terry Labonte trying to get the inaugural Brickyard 400 for himself, Chevrolet, and Hendrick Motorsports. Coming to four laps to go. Terry Labonte. He hasn't won all year besides last week. Today, he's trying to go back to back with a win in one of the biggest races of the season. 
down in the turn one we go. Years of months of hype and anticipation for this race. All leading down to these final four laps as Terry Labonte chases down Davey Allison. In front of him, you see Morgan Shepard horrendously slow, but coming back up the pace. Morgan, it's looking like he is going to lose a ton of time, a ton of points. This is a horrible day for Morgan. I don't know what happened to him, but either way, it's not good. Davey coming through turn three now. Coming to three laps to go. Three more times around this 2.5 mile racetrack. Davey trying, now how much time do, does Terry gain on him that lap next time by? Jimmy Hensley, see him as a lap car. He'll be passing in probably next lap or so. So they come down the front stretch here. Down to turn one, holy smokes. Jimmy Hensley is a rolling roadblock. The chicane, Jimmy Hensley. Holding up everybody right now. And my God, look at the run. Everyone's getting on him. How much does that affect everyone's lap time? As Terry Labonte did gain about two tenths on Davey that last time by, but now he got held up quite a bit. And now here comes Dale Earnhardt and Ken Schrader. It's a four horse race down the back stretch. Coming to two laps to go. The final two laps of the, in the Brickyard 400. The first stock car race at Indianapolis. Through turn three, coming into turn four. Two laps left for Davy Allison to win. Will he be able to pull it off, or will we see a late hard charge by by one of these Chevrolets behind him? It's Chevy versus Ford, basically. Ford's outnumbered, pretty much. Back down in the turn number one again. Here we go. Davey trying, holding strong over these guys as Dale Earnhardt and Ken Schrader pass Terry Labonte for second place. Trying to get, getting past them now. They gain four tenths on Davey that next time by. They will catch him probably with about half a lap to a lap to go. Davey. Oh, now here comes Ken trying to make a move on, on Dale Earnhardt. Dale, though, he wants this win. He got a huge run on Davey that time down the back stretch. He's closing in fast. Will he have any time to make a move? Any time to make a last lap daring pass. The white flag is out this time by. Davey Allison will be seeing it. So will Dale Earnhardt. Will the aggression be ramped up? Or will Davey Allison put his name in the history books? Down the front stretch we go on the final lap. Davey Allison crosses the yard of bricks. And now Dale Earnhardt's looking. He's looking to the inside of Davey Allison. Down through turn one. Roaring off that corner now down to turn number two. Two Chevrolets lined up behind Davey Allison as they come through turn two. Off of that corner now. Only two more corners to navigate. Two more straights to navigate for Davey Allison as he looks to block any big huge run that the three of Dale Earnhardt will get down this back stretch. Down into the corner now. Dale Earnhardt looking. Davey shuts the door now. Coming through turn number three. Off of that corner now. Looking at turn number four. And here he is in the fourth turn. This is his final trip around. Turn number four. And Davey Allison is about to write his name in the racing history books. Years from today when 79 stock car races have been run here. We'll remember the name. Davey Allison, winner of the inaugural Brickyard 400. Incredible finish. As we almost had a photo finish at the line once again. But Davey Allison is your inaugural Brickyard 400 winner. A man who has had an incredible season by winning the Daytona 500. Now has won the Brickyard 400. Could this be Davey Allison's season to finally claim that championship that eluded him in 1992. Championship that eluded him in 1993. This could be the year for Davey Allison. Look at your final results here. All these drivers coming through the corners here. What a race. There's your finishing results. I'll just shuffle through them here again. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Let's take a look at your points here after this race. And yes, with Morgan Shepard, 
having those issues late. There he is. 37th place finishing position for Morgan. Davey Allison opens his points lead to 187 points over Morgan Shepard now. Terry Labonte's in third place, nearly 300 points back. Dale Earnhardt, nearly 450 points back in fourth. Ken Schrader, 400 and, well, yeah, 422 points back. Sorry, um, Dale Earnhardt was less than 400 points back. Sorry. Whoops. Um, and then it's a, then it's even further back from there because Jimmy Spencer's over 200 points back from Ken, and then Daryl's in, in a league of his own compared to Martin and Musgrave and Gordon. And then Rusty's in 11th. Either way, thank you all for watching. Next week we'll be at Watkins Glen. 12 races are left in the NASCAR season and for 1994. And like I said, next week we'll be at Watkins Glen. Getting ready to get into the final 10 races of the season. The final sprint to the championship for these drivers. So until next time, goodbye.